slowly follow in my trail. I am here to tell the tale of nature's beauty, sounds and smells. Explore the whole wide world with me. Oh, what fun it all will be. Come join me, everyone. Learning is a lot of fun. Come join me, everyone. Learning is a lot of fun. Hello there, my dear viewers. We're about to meet some very interesting animals that you probably already know about. They are everywhere and go around in large groups. Have you guessed already? Ants! Today we're going to meet some ants. Here, underneath this little hill, lies an ant nest. Let's experiment. An experiment is when you try to check something out. Just a minute. I have a very tasty biscuit. We will put it here on the ground and see if the ants actually come out and find it. Let's hide and see what happens. And there, they're starting to come out. One ant and another. Yes, they're on their way. They're marching in a straight line. They're searching and searching. Yes, they've seen the biscuit. They're turning towards it. How nice! It's working! They've reached it! Ooh, the biscuit is too big for them. What clever ants! They've crumbled the biscuit into crumbs and now they're carrying all the crumbs! What amazing teamwork! Now let's see where they're going with the crumbs. They're getting closer to the nest. Closer? Nearly there? Yes, they've done it, dear viewers! They've succeeded! Well done! Very good! I suggest that we go up to the nest and try to talk to them. Very soon they'll come out again because their work isn't done yet. Didn't I tell you? Excuse me, excuse me, dear ants. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Mr. Snail. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Maybe you could take a short break. Oh, no. We found a huge biscuit, and now we have to bring the whole thing into the nest. Yes, I know. It's my biscuit. Uh, hey, we're very sorry. We found it, and now it's ours. Yes, of course. I know. I left it there for you. Really? So thank you very much. Maybe we will take a short break to answer your questions after all. Guys, we're stopping for a minute. Yay! Yes, Mr. Snail, what would you like to ask? I'd love to know what's happening down there in your nest. We live down there with a lot of other ants and the queen ant. You have a queen? Really? Yes, she's a little bigger than us and she has wings. Ooh, could I speak to her? No, she doesn't do interviews. She doesn't leave the nest at all. She sits and lays eggs all day long. That's her job. We all have our different jobs. What jobs, if I may ask? Lots of different jobs. Some ants look after the kids. Other ants build the nest. And then there are some ants who guard the food in the nest. And then there's us. Our job is to leave the nest and bring food for everyone. Do you have any more questions? Because we really must carry on with our work. I have many more questions, but I won't get in your way. Thanks a lot. Carry on, carry on. Come on, guys. On we go. Thank you for the biscuit. See you. Thanks, guys. How nice. Did you see what lovely little creatures ants are? See you all next time.
Hello there. I have a riddle for you today. How do you know when it's autumn? Well, there are three signs that tell us when autumn is arriving. The first sign, a pew. Ooh, oh, ooh. When it starts to get chilly. Yes, I'd better put something warm on. Excuse me for a moment. Oh, oh dear, am I? I can't see. What's going on? Is it night already? Oh, scarf. Oh, there you are. So, as we mentioned, the first sign of autumn is that it gets chilly. The second sign is that the leaves start falling from the trees. Ouch! Just like that leaf. Oh. And that leaf. And that's called autumn. There's another sign of autumn, only I can't remember what it is. Maybe I should ask someone from around here. Maybe this beautiful bird will know. Excuse me, bird, but maybe you could help me out. I've forgotten what the third sign of the beginning of autumn is. Migrating birds. Oh, right, migrating birds. Now I remember. Tell me, have you seen any migrating birds lately? Yes, I'm a migrating bird. Really? What a coincidence to meet a migrating bird like this. Maybe you could tell us your name. My name is Robin Redbreast. Robin Redbreast, forgive me for the interruption. I brought you a little farewell gift so that you'll have a pleasant journey. Thank you so much, my dear aunt. I am going to miss you. I'll miss you too. Take good care of yourself. Right. See you again in the spring. Oh, it's so difficult to say goodbye to everyone. Yes, I can see. So why are you migrating then? Because when the autumn comes, it starts to get cold. Right. And after the autumn comes winter, and then it gets even colder. Right. And I don't like being cold, so I fly far away from here to warmer places. Uh, uh, Robin Redbreast! Robin Redbreast! I thought you had already left without saying goodbye. I'm still here. I'll be leaving soon. And when will you be back? In the spring, when it gets warmer. Tell me, are you migrating alone? Oh, no. Don't worry. I'm flying with a lot of friends. Take care of yourself, you hear? Yes, of course. Right, I have to leave now. It was very nice meeting you. Goodbye, snail. Goodbye, beetle. See you in the spring. Journey! How lovely. It must be fun to be able to fly, right? Oh, if only I had wings. Whoa! What a strong wind is blowing up! Wind is a wonderful thing. You can't see it, but you can hear it. Here, listen. You can feel it most of all! And sometimes you can fly away on it! See you!
Hello, kids. Is it true that you like bananas? I know everybody likes bananas, but have you ever thought about where they come from? Eh? Today, we're going to see the place where the bananas grow. Come with me. Come with me. What? Eh, uh, hello. Eh, uh, hello. How are you? How are you? I am very well, and you? I am very well, and you? Pleased to meet you. I'm Mr. Snail. May I ask who you are? Pleased to meet you. I'm Mr. Snail. May I ask who you are? No, I am Mr. Snail. No, Ooh. I am Mr. Snail. But, 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 uh... Ah, now I get it. You're a parrot. You're a parrot. Dear viewers, this special bird who repeats everything it hears is called a parrot. It is a very interesting bird. Hey, parrot, would you like to talk to me? Hey, parrot, would you like to talk to me? Well, it seems to be impossible. We'll continue on our way to the bananas. Mm, yes. So, see you, parrot. It was very nice meeting you. Hey, wait! Where are you going? Pardon? Me? Wait a minute! I'll be right down! Talk! What did you want to ask? Well... Well, I wanted to know, how do you do it? How do you imitate sound so well? It's just that I'm a very clever creature. Probably the cleverest creature in the wild. And, and not at all a show-off. And tell me, why do you parrots have such very colourful feathers? That's so the other parrots can see me from afar. Here, can you see? Can you see me? Yes, very well. Huh? Parrot, parrot, parrot. That's it. Can't see him anymore. Let's look for bananas. For you one? How lovely! Where did you find it? Oh, it's through here, on the trees above. Oh! Wonderful! I was just telling the kids about bananas. Bananas? Who cares about them? Maybe you should tell them about parrots. You know, I am a special bird who can imitate voices. Yes, yes, I am very good at it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well then, dear viewers, that's all for today. See you next time. Bye-bye. Well then, dear viewers, that's all for today. See you next time. Wah!
Hello there. Today, dear viewers, I'd like to tell you how bees make honey. As you can see, I'm waiting here on this nice flower because any minute now, a bee is supposed to be arriving. She's the one who makes the honey, and we are going to see just how she does that. Ooh, I hear something. I think there's a bee heading this way. Here she is! Here she is! Uh, hey, uh, bee? Hello? I'm Mr. Snail. I've been waiting for you quite a while now. For me? Why? What do you want from me? If you don't mind, I would like to ask you a few questions. Questions? Why? Oh, well, because you're a very, very interesting animal, and I'd like to find out more about you. Oh, yes, it's true. I'm very interesting. So, go on, ask me. I have heard that you make honey, and I wanted to know how. Oh, no, no, no. That's top secret. I'm not allowed to talk about that. Well, listen, Snail, I've finished drinking the nectar I need for making the honey. Got to get back to the beehive now. Oh, so, so the nectar is for the honey? Shh! You didn't hear that from me. Can I come with you to the beehive? Yeah, but you'll have to hurry. Come on, snail! Come on! You're very slow! Uh, uh, I'm doing my best. I... Oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Are you all right? Yes, yes. We've arrived at the beehive. I'm going in. See you, Snail. Wait a minute. I want to go in as well. Shh. Have you gone mad? You can't go into the beehive. There are loads of bees in there. And they're not all nice as me. They mustn't know that we've been speaking to each other. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Remember, not a word. See you. Well, my dear viewers, I'm afraid we won't be able to find out how honey is made. It seems that it's extremely top secret and it's impossible to... Psst, psst, snail. Have a good look. I put the nectar that I sucked out of the flower into the honeycomb. Like this. Now I seal it up with some wax. And now the honeycomb is ready. Wow! But you didn't hear it from me, right? See you, snail. W wait, you forgot the honeycomb. It's a present for you. For me? How nice! Mmm! The honey is very sweet and tasty, but you didn't hear it from me. See you guys! Hello there. On our program today... It's mine! It's mine. Uh, what's going on over there? Ooh, oh. Oh. It's mine, I Ooh. said. Oh, I'm sorry. Who, who are you, if I may ask? 
We're the dung beetles, and she's just taken my ball. How nice. Let's watch a ball game between two beetles. Game? What do you mean by game? Hey, come here. This ball is mine. Looks like a game to me. Excuse me, you, Snail, can you be our judge? A judge? Gladly! I love judging games! But we are not playing, don't you get it? We are fighting over the ball! Oh dear, oh my! Fighting is not a good idea. Besides, it's just mud. It's not mud, it's dung! You're fighting over a ball of dung? Dung for us is something good. For other animals, it might be only dung. But for us, it's a wonderful thing. So what do you do with a ball of dung? After we roll it, we prepare food out of it. And it takes us a long time to make a ball. It took me hours to roll that ball and I'm not prepared to give it up. That's not true. I rolled it. It's mine. Mine? Dear Beatles, I have a great idea. I suggest we split the ball in two. In two? Yes. That way, each one of you will have half a ball. What do you mean half? We won't be able to roll half a ball. Half a ball is no good whatsoever. What a terrible idea. Oh. Uh, sorry, I just wanted to help. Hey, what is this over here? It's a dung ball. Ball. That's my ball. That's wonderful. Sorry I mistrusted you. Uh, uh, but I can't seem to be able to move it. Let's all try together. We'll stand behind it and push. One, two, three. Uh, One, two, three. Uh, and... Uh, Thank you so much. You're welcome. Well, viewers, today we met some dung beetles and discovered that even animals fight sometimes. See you. Hello there. I've heard that wherever there are flowers, there are butterflies as well. Hold on, over here, I found one. Look how lovely he is, and so colorful. Wow! Let's try and talk to him. Hey, butterfly! I excuse me, but butterfly! Hold on! Butterfly! He's flown towards that tree over there. Let's try and follow him. Hello. 
Hello there, Caterpillar. Hum. Hum. I see that you have a very big appetite. Hum. Tell me, did you happen to see the most beautiful butterfly with the most amazing colors somewhere over here? Ah, oh, that's probably my brother. Your brother? Hum. Yeah. Yeah, my eldest brother. How could you be brothers? You don't look alike at all. He's a colorful and charming butterfly, and you're... you're a... you're a green caterpillar. Uh, hum! Whoa! Oh! 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 oh. oh. Whew. I'm sorry. Really. Th that wasn't very polite of me. I... That's fine. I'm used to it. No one believes me when I say we're brothers. But just for your information, he was once a caterpillar just like me. Really? What's that? Look at this weird egg lying here. That's not an egg. That's another one of my brothers. Another brother? Yeah. My big brother, the cocoon. Uh, are you sure you're not pulling my leg? Uh, excuse me, this caterpillar over here claims that you're his brother. Is this true? He doesn't talk. I told you. He's a cocoon. That's what I'm talking about. He used to be a caterpillar like me, and now he's a cocoon. Right. Now I'm totally confused. It's very simple. The mother lays an egg and the caterpillar hatches, just like me. He eats lots of leaves until he gets very strong. Then the caterpillar weaves a blanket around himself. It's called a cocoon. And then, and then, and then he comes out of the blanket as a butterfly. Hello, little brother. Ooh, so you really are brothers. Wow, that's so interesting. Who's this? It's the snail. He has lots of questions. Ah, uh, excuse me, butterfly. I wanted to ask... Didn't I tell you? Uh, y you were once a cocoon. So tell me, what do you do there all day? Ah, we sleep the whole time. <laughs> what a lovely family. Can I take a family photo of you guys? Sure, sure of course. course. So get closer. Now smile. Uh, you too, cocoon. Three, two, one. Charming family. <laughs> so glad to have met you. Will you come and take a photo of me when I turn into a butterfly? Of course. Gladly. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Cocoon, say goodbye to Snail. Don't be rude. <laughs> Hello, dear viewers. Today we'll meet a cat. You probably know some cats. You've probably seen them on the street, or maybe you have one at home. A charming animal. I especially like the sound it makes. Meow. Meow. Well, all right. Maybe I should leave it to the cat to demonstrate. Right here next to me, I have a lovely little cat. Hello there, cat. Wow. Hello. Do you want me to call my mummy? No, no. Actually, I just wanted to talk to you. My name is Mr. Snail, and I wanted to ask you what kind of cat you are. A house cat or a street cat? 
live on the street and I play on the street, so I must be a street cat. And where do you sleep? Hmm, in a different place every time. Sometimes under a parked car, sometimes under a building. And what do you eat? Why are you asking all these questions? You're a policeman. No, no, no. I'm telling the children about cats. The children can see me? Hold on. Wait. Might I ask what you are doing? Uh, I'm cleaning my fur. I like to look good. <laughs> Wow, you have very delicate paws. <laughs> Not necessarily. I can also show my claws when I need to. Ooh, oh, no, no. Put those back in again, please. <laughs> Don't worry. You're safe. I won't do anything to you. I only use them when someone tries to bother me. Who, for instance? I smell something. What? Someone who wants to bother you? No, no, I smell food. Oh, be careful, that's dangerous. Don't worry, I always land on my feet. My mother says that I'm a champion athlete. Do you want to come with me? I smell something yummy. No, thank you, I'm not that hungry. You're lost. I wonder what he can smell over there. What's that? Is that a rubbish bin? Huh? Wow, you'll never believe this. It's tuna salad. Someone threw it away. Are you sure you're not coming? No, 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 no. Thank you. Please, bon appetit. Well, children, today we saw a street kitten. He seems to manage quite well, doesn't he? <sighs> See you, my friends. Hello there, my dear viewers. Today, we're going to visit a cauliflower field. And we are about to meet... Whoa! Dear viewers, I've just fallen into a hole. Maybe you should call someone to help me out. I'll, I'll try and get out myself. Oh, that was scary. I couldn't see anything. It's so dark down there. Who's digging holes here? It's so very dangerous. Snails can fall into them. Here, maybe I should ask this man. Excuse me, do you by any chance know who's responsible for all these holes? Excuse me? Hey, you! Can't you hear me? I asked if you know! <laughs> Hello, madam. May I ask what's so funny? You are. <laughs> Do you think the scarecrow will answer you? <laughs> don't you know that scarecrows don't talk? Scarecrow? What's a scarecrow? A scarecrow is a kind of doll in the shape of a man. 
He's here so that the birds think that he's a human and are too scared to come and eat the cauliflowers. Ooh, a scarecrow is a very good idea. May I ask who you are, madam? I'm a mole. Glad to meet you. Dearest Madam Mole, maybe you know who's been digging all these holes. It's just that it's so... very dangerous! Hello, Grandma. Oh, what happened to him? How many times have I told you to dig carefully? Oh. Oh. Haven't I taught you to look in all directions before coming out of the hole? This poor snail fell. Uh, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm... Now I get it. You're called a mole because you're underground. How nice. So tell me, why would you be digging all of these holes? Because most of the time we live underground. That's where we sleep and search for food. It's very safe down there. And sometimes we come up to warm up in the sun. Oh, my mischievous granddaughter has disappeared again. Hey, Granny, I'm over here. Look how fast I can get to you. Ooh! Wow! That was fast! How did you do that? Here, like this. <laughs> hey, Snaily! I'm Ooh. right here. Hey, oh, hey. hey Snaily! Look! Ooh. I'm over Ooh. here. You scared me. I'm here. Ooh. Hey, Snaily! Hmm? Oh, isn't my naughty little monkey a charmer? Y yes, she is extremely charming. Only my head is already spinning now, so... Dear viewers, that's it for today. See you next time! Hello there. Today we're going to meet a wonderful animal. You've probably already heard of it. It's a very well-known animal. It's called a frog. Hi there. Nice to meet you. I'm Mr. Snail. Nice to meet you. I'm a giraffe. Giraffe? Uh, you, you must be kidding. You're right. I am kidding. Can't you see I'm a frog? <laughs> I love jokes and telling riddles too. Do you want to hear a riddle? Of course. I'm good at solving riddles. Who lives in the water and on land as well? Um... Don't know. Want a clue? A clue might help. Uh, frog? Frog? Where has she gone? She's a little odd, isn't she? Well, have you got it yet? Uh, 
got what? It's me, Frog. I live in the water and on land too. Ah, I get it. Never mind, Snail. I'll ask you another riddle. Who's green and is good at blowing balloons? Green and blows balloons? Mm. It's me, Ribbit, Ribbit, Ribbit. <laughs> you? You're green, but you blow balloons? Don't you believe me? Here, look. <gasps> wow! How do you do that? You're a really inquisitive snail. <laughs> Watch, I take in air and blow, and then I go... Wow, that's amazing. But why on earth do you do that? That is how I talk to other frogs. It's funny, isn't it? <laughs> Very funny. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> And now, Snail, for the last riddle. Concentrate. Who has stretchy legs and can jump really far? Um, you? That's right, Snail. You guessed it last. You deserve a prize. Come, get on my back. What? But, but why? Surprise. Get on. Get on. You'd better hold on very tight and... Hey! Fun, isn't it, Snail? Hey! Well, my dear viewers, I think we should say goodbye now. See you next time! Whoa! Hello there. Today we're going out on an outing to a place that you know very well. You can find it in almost every garden, sometimes even in your own garden. Have you guessed already? Today we're going for a walk in the grass. Here we are. What a sight. Green all around. What's that? There's a nice dog. Look how he's running through the grass. Oh, how nice. The dog has decided to have a rest right beside us. That's good. Let's go over and talk to him. Excuse me. Excuse me, dog. Oh, oh dear. Oh, I'm, I'm afraid we won't be able to uh, speak to the dog today. He's in the middle of... Uh, I mean, in, at the moment he's well, doing a wee. And that's a private matter. We should carry on with our outing. Oh, look at that. Here's a leaf that has grown especially tall. It looks so big and strong that I think I should try and climb it. Join me. Whoa. Ah, whoa. Who's there? Oh, oh, no. Ugh. Um, well, dear viewers, I'm afraid our giant leaf is in fact an animal, which I happen to know, a grasshopper. 
It's a very interesting animal. Let's chat with it. Mr. Grasshopper, Mr. Grasshopper? Shh. Please, speak quietly. I'm hiding. Oh, I do apologize. I'll speak quietly. Could you tell us who you're hiding from? I'm hiding from the lizard. How interesting. Mr. Grasshopper has found a great place to hide in. He's just as green as the grass. Even I didn't notice him. That's brilliant, Mr. Grasshopper. Yes, it's true. It's true. There are a lot of animals just like me in nature. We are exactly the same colour as our surroundings, so that way we can hide without anyone noticing us. Mr. Grasshopper, maybe you can tell us a bit about your life in the grass. Uh, no, I don't exactly live here. I move around, you know. I have wings, see, here. And I fly from one place to another. And obviously, I only land on tree leaves or on flower stems. Of course! Green places just like you! Clever! Exactly! And another question, Mr. Grasshopper? Oh no! Someone's coming! Oh? I'm sorry, but I can't answer any more questions. Well, it seems that Mr. Grasshopper has to hide now. We won't disturb him anymore. Nice talking to you, Mr. Grasshopper! Yeah, yeah! Likewise! See ya! So we'll carry on. Ooh! What is this hose doing right in the middle of the grass? It seems a little irresponsible to leave it lying around here like this. Very odd. What is this? What? Ah, ooh! Ooh! I see! It's a sprinkler! Humans have put it here especially. The grass needs to be watered to keep growing. Well then, I don't need to be watered to grow, so I should be going home now. I had a wonderful time exploring the grass with you today. See you next time! Hold on, I'm almost there. Just a little bit more. There. Hello there. We're about to witness something very special. Something you don't see every day. This is the best place to watch without getting in the way. You're probably curious by now, so I'll tell you. Come. Look down. Can you see? There's a nest there. This is a nest built by a bird. The bird has laid three eggs in it. And at any moment now, the eggs will hatch and little chicks will emerge from them. Isn't this exciting? There! Did you see that? It's starting! Soon, a chick will hatch out of this egg. Hold on. Someone's missing. Where's the mother bird? What if the chick comes out while she's not here? No, wait a minute. Stay, stay inside the egg until your mother comes back. Oh, too late. There's the little chick. This is so exciting. Oh. Hello there, dear little chick. Welcome to this world. Are you my mother? Who, me? Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm a snail. Your mother's a bird. Oh, pardon me. Couldn't see. I can't see anything yet. I'll only begin to be able to see things in a few days. 
Why are you chirping like that, might I ask? Because I'm hungry. That's how I let my mother know that I'm hungry and that she should feed me. Yes, your mother should be here soon. But meanwhile, maybe you could tell me how you got out of the egg. Uh, I bashed my forehead against the eggshell until it cracked and I came out. Well done. Oh, how lovely. The first one has hatched. Hello, my chick. Yes, of course. Here's your food. See? The mother's arrived. She just went to gather food for her little chick. Hello, Madam Bird. Congratulations. You must be very excited. Oh, yes, thanks. What's going to be happening with your chick in the next few days? He'll eat and grow and get stronger. And then? And then I'll teach him how to fly. I'll teach him how to fend for himself and tell him everything he needs to know. Huh? What was that? Those were his brothers. They've also started to crack their eggshells. And soon they'll hatch too. Okay. Soon it'll be very crowded here, so it would be better if I left the nest now. Farewell, Madam Bird. Farewell, Chick. Send my regards to your brothers. See ya. Bye-bye. Come again. Bye-bye. Now, wasn't that amazing? It was worth it to climb all the way up here to get to see that. Only, I don't know how to get down from here. I suppose very carefully. That's right, carefully. So goodbye for now. And to you at home too. Farewell, see you next time. Hello there, viewers. Can you see me? Yes, it's a bit dark here. That's how it is at night. But don't worry. With my torch, we'll be able to go for a walk safely. I'm on a very special mission. At night, while you're sleeping, interesting things happen out in the wild. It's quiet at night. Listen to how wonderfully peaceful it is. Oh, 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 that was my torch. It just suddenly went out. Oh, what the timing. I don't really like the dark. Oh, dear viewers, I, I'll tell you a secret. I'm a little scared of the dark. Hey, wait! What's that there? I think there's someone there with a torch. Eh, uh, excuse me, excuse me. Hold on, pardon me, but who's there, if I may ask? I'm a firefly. Firefly? What a beautiful name. Tell me, Firefly, maybe you can help me. I don't get on very well in the dark. Maybe you could lend me your torch. <laughs> it's not a torch. It's me that's glowing. You're glowing without a torch? Yes. I glow in the dark and you can see me from far away. You're so lucky. 
I wish that I could glow like that as well. It's very dark at night, and I'm not used to it. Yes, I see. Hold on a sec. What are you doing? I'm talking to some friends of mine. Talking to some of your friends? Where are they? There, in the distance. So how can they hear you? They can't hear me. They see me. We speak in the language of lights. Interesting. I'm afraid I'm not totally fluent in that language. What have you told them? You'll see soon enough. There they are on the way here. Here, have a look. Wow, they all have torches. Hey, hey well, the snail was afraid of the dark. dark. Uh, um, that must be me, and, and I'm not afraid of the dark, but anyway, I'm very glad you came. Guys, shall we sing him a song? Pardon? You sing as well? Yes, of course. We sing as a choir. Would you like to see? Certainly. Can you guess which song this is? Uh, I'm afraid I don't know any Firefly songs, but it sounds, I mean, looks wonderful. Yes, we've had a very special night tonight, haven't we? And the most special thing we discovered is that the night is filled with music. Good night, and see you next time. Viewers, I have brought three things on our trip today. An umbrella, Wellington boots. Ooh, I also brought a hat, but but I can't seem to find it anywhere. Oh well, never mind. Anyway, we have an umbrella and Wellington boots, so you can guess that today we are going to visit a Puddle, yes. Come with me. It was raining all night long. When it rains at night, there are puddles in the morning. Here we are. Ooh, whoa. What a beautiful big puddle. All the water in the puddle is rainwater. Ah, ooh, ow, ouch. What was that? Ah. It's a nice little girl who has come to hop in the puddle. I will try and talk to her. Come with me. Eh, uh, excuse me, young lady. Eh, uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, no! Oh, wow! Well, I'm afraid we won't be able to speak to the girl today. Never mind. Where were we? Oh. Yes, the puddle. We're carrying on to the other side of the puddle. Let's see what's happening there. Ooh, here's a nice bird that's come to drink some puddle water. Let's talk to it. 
Excuse me, Madam Bird. May I ask you a few questions? Yes, of course. Tell me, please, what flavor does the puddle water have? Sweet. The puddle water is very tasty. Do you live around here? Yes, here, on this tree. And is this puddle always here? No, not at all. The puddle's only here after it rains. Aha! Didn't I tell you? Another question for you, Madam Bird. How long will this puddle be here? It'll stay here till the sun comes out and dries it up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What was that? That was thunder. That means the rain's starting again. I'm sorry. I have to get back to my nest. See you. Thank you, Madam Bird. Glad to oblige. Well then, at the moment, the clouds are pouring rain onto the puddle. It seems like very strong rain, which means that our puddle is about to get bigger and bigger. Well, I should also go now, but i first like to show you a little magic trick using this puddle. Did you know that puddle water could be used as a mirror? You can see a reflection in the water. Here, have a look. Here I am. Hello, Mr. Snail. Oh, and here's my hat. I thought I'd brought my hat. Oh, lovely. See you on the next trip. my dear boys and girls. You've probably already guessed where I am. The sound you hear is the sound of waves. Waves that wash from the ocean. I'm on the seashore. The place where land and water meet. Here's a crab. The crab lives near the ocean. He knows this place very well. Let's ask him some questions. Hello, Mr. Crab. Sorry, I'm in a rush. Where are you going to? To meet the oyster. I want to see her beautiful pearl, and she only opens up for a very short period of time. Very short. Oyster? Pearl? I don't get it. You'll have to explain it to me. If you join me, you'll understand everything. But I have to hurry up. Hmm. Check out the footprints that we make in the sand when we walk. Uh, hold on! Wait for me! Now, we carry on over the rocks. I've never climbed on a rock before. It's not very safe for snails who can't swim, you know. Well, snail, are you coming? Yes, I'll come. Where's the oyster? It has to be here somewhere. Heavens! Ooh. Mm. Mm. Excuse
Excuse me, you trod on me. Who? I, I beg your pardon. Who are you? I'm the oyster. Oyster? The crab was looking for you. He's not here. I have to close up. Goodbye. But tell me why. Because the sun is warming me. It might dry me up. Well, send my regards to the crab. Wait, hold on. Maybe I could have a look at your pearl? Oh, yes. Here it is. <sighs> wow, what a beauty. See you. See you, Oyster. Wait, wait, don't close. Oh, crap, you missed it. Oh, no. It was amazing, the pearl. I'll tell you all about it, but hold on. See you guys next time. Oh, I'm telling you, Crab, you missed it. It was so beautiful. Oh, what a shame. Hello there, my dear viewers. I'm not going to talk very much today. Do you know why? Because today, I mean, tonight, I'm going to sleep. Yes, I thought it would be interesting for you to see how animals sleep. So pay attention. I'm yawning, shutting my eyes, and... Ooh, what's that horrid noise? Ooh, can you hear that? I have to check it out. I can't sleep with that noise anyway, can I? So, come with me. Hmm, the sound's coming from somewhere over here. Oh, ew. <laughs> eh, excuse me, so sorry. I didn't see you in the dark. No, no. I'm sorry, I didn't see you. Let me introduce myself. I'm a cricket. Hmm. Nice to meet you, cricket. Tell me, perchance would you happen to know who was making that terrible noise earlier? I didn't hear any noise. Ooh. Uh, a really loud, unpleasant noise. It sounded like this. You mean like... Ah, yes, exactly. So where's that horrid noise coming from? I'm making it. And it's not a noise. It's a wonderful song. Ah, ah, yes, uh, of course, of course. I, I do apologize. M music is not my forte. Uh, so tell me, how do you make that noise? I mean, that lovely song. Oh, that's very simple. I rub my wings one against the other, and that's how I produce the sound. Here, like this. Yes, yes, I get it. Very interesting. <coughs> yes, yes, I understand. Very nice. Tell me, it's getting late. Don't you go to sleep? Me? Not at all. Not at night. Huh? But everybody sleeps at night. It's boring all on your own. I'm not on my own. There are lots of animals that stay awake at night. Ooh, really? And they sing too. Would you like to meet a few? <gasps> that would be wonderful! 
Look up at that tree. Hey, owl, owl! Yes, Cricket? What's up? There's a snail here that wants to meet you. Can you sing him something? Gladly. Thanks, Owl. And this is a frog. Frog, can you sing us something? I'm a little hoarse, but okay. Ribbit. Ribbit. Hey, let's all sing together for the snail. Ribbit. Ribbit. That's amazing. I didn't realize that so many things were going on while I was sleeping. Dear viewers, I think that tonight I will stay awake. See you!